Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the DVC Show. Coming up, Paul and Amy are going to tell us about their recent trip to Alani. And when I say recent, I mean like five minutes ago. Coming up next. Welcome, folks. Coming to you from the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Pete Werner. Joined at the table this week by senior editor for DVCFan.com, Mr. Paul Krieger. Hey, everybody. And his lovely wife making her debut on our show, Amy Krieger. Hi. Excited to finally be here. And, of course, our producer, Mr. Corey Fiascanaro. Welcome home. And uh, excited to have you guys in the studio. They happen to be here in Orlando this week, so it worked out really, really well. We're doing all our shows uh, in the studio, and um, I'm, I'm very excited. But before we get started, just a reminder, our shows are brought to you by the world of DVC. That includes dvcresalemarket.com. If you're looking to buy a resale contract or if you want to sell your resale contract, your, your contract and upgrade to a bigger one or another one or whatever. You can buy or sell through dbcresellmarket.com, dbcrentalstore.com. If you need to rent out some points or you want to make some money and rent out your points, great place to go. Great opportunity to try DBC before you buy it. And of course, monerafinancial.com, the crack dealer of the DBC world that makes it so easy to finance your next DBC contract. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, I've I've used Monera multiple times uh, for my contracts, and it, it's just stupid how how easy that is. It's just stupid. There's a couple of people from World of DBC who are not on this show, but they're in the room, and they're over here laughing. Um, Derek and Carrie, <laughs> just so you know. Um, but yeah, so. Please, you like our content, you, you like our shows, um, ha that's how we pay for it, through our sponsors. So please show your support by visiting any or all of the websites I just mentioned. Um, okay, so the Kriegers took their first trip to Olani. And it was quite an experience from what I, <laughs> from what I, I, I gather, but I'm very interested to hear about it. So let me turn it over to you guys. Yeah, I think quite the quite the experience is putting it lightly. Um, this was our first trip. It was five nights we did. Yes, yeah, six five, total. Six in total. Hawaii. Six total in Hawaii. Um, but we did five nights, and um, I will come out from the beginning and say it was probably the most relaxing DVC vacation ever. Although it did have a couple little bumps in the road along the way, um, but. It was just so beautiful to be out there in Hawaii and get to experience Alani finally um, and just really take in everything that you see in the pictures or the videos of that resort. Like, it's just, it took like three or four days for me to be like, yep, I'm really here. I'm really at Alani. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and it was amazing. But um, every vacation doesn't come without some bumps in the road. And we had a couple of those uh, uh, coming over. Uh, the first mistake that I think we made was we booked we booked a flight from, uh, so we live in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. So we booked from Pittsburgh to Charlotte, North Carolina, and then Charlotte, yeah, it doesn't make sense, um, and then went from Charlotte to Hawaii. And that flight was 10 and a half hours. And I would say that did us in in more ways than one, if you if you want to say that, or or maybe did did one of us in a little bit more than the other. It felt like three hundred hours. Um, I I told Paul that if we were going to come on and talk about Alani and how we really felt about Alani and how well taken care of we were at Alani, uh, that we had to tell the whole story. And um, somewhere in the middle of our ten hour forever flight. Uh, my hiatal hernia flared up on me and I, I've dealt with it for three years. I've never had trouble managing it. Um, and it was just, it was unlike anything I'd ever experienced. And, and part of that might've been the travel. 
um, when we finally got to Hawaii and we decided to go to the hotel and try to get some sleep at the Marriott, which is definitely a party center uh, at Waikiki Beach. It wasn't our scene, but uh, we woke up after a few hours and I told Paul that I needed to go to the hospital, um, which was really big because I, I avoid doctors like the plague and I haven't been to an emergency room since I was about five years old. So we went and um, if you've ever have an issue in Honolulu, the Queens, was it Queens? Yeah, Queens Medical, Medical Center. Oh, they were wonderful. If I was back home, I'd still be in the waiting room. Um, <laughs> but they took That's such good care of me within a half hour, multiple tests, IV, I mean, the works. And uh, we were thinking about booking a flight home the next day. And we decided to, it was about 5 a.m. by the time I got released. And we decided to call Lonnie. We didn't want to go back to the Marriott. And we just wanted to see, you know, could we hang out in the lobby until we check in? Check in's around 4 p.m. So we're about 11 hours out from check-in time. And they told us to come and said they would try to figure something out. And when we got there, they were deeply apologetic that the room that we had requested, that they had originally had for us um, in the Waikoloke Valley. I don't know if I'm saying that right. You're not, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, It was supposed to be like one of the best ocean views. It was way up on a high floor. Um, they, they obviously wouldn't have that room in time, you know, for us at 5 a.m. It probably wouldn't be done until like 4 p.m. And <clears throat> they, you know, they wanted to make sure that we were okay with giving up that view. And we were like, sure, you know, we're just exhausted. Um, and they gave us a room at 5 a.m. And it was beautiful. It was a beautiful ocean view. We had a view of the sunset. And we, we had time to sleep for a little bit, shower. Um, we even made it to our breakfast reservation, you know, in that morning. It was like 1045 at, uh, I can't remember the name of that restaurant. Makahiki. 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 Yes. And uh, we just... We were just felt so well taken care of there. The rest of the trip, we canceled our dining excur or you know our excursions. We were going to do a dolphin thing and the Jurassic Park tour. Um, we just didn't know if we would make those, and we stayed at Alani the whole time. And we ate at all the dining establishments that were open. We ate at several of them a couple of times, and just you know, there's no playbook for telling someone, you know, I'm eating low acid, bland food. Um, you know, it's not an allergy. And they were just so good. All of the servers, you know, saying things like, uh, you know, do you want avocado on that? That might be easier on your stomach. You know, it might be better than that bland chicken sandwich you just ordered. <laughs> do you want us to try to make this omelet, you know, egg white omelet with no oil? You know, uh, just being honest about the food, that soup's really salty, that might be hard on your stomach. Um, we just really felt taken care of and there's just a level of comfort that comes with being somewhere familiar you know at a disney resort we'd never been there before but it just felt familiar um, and it felt like home even though we were five thousand miles away from home right. even though we were scared we just left the hospital um, and we had so many great cast member interactions just throughout that whole trip now you know uh i'm not sure if you're aware but um when they opened alani when they first conceived Alani, uh, they figured, you know, the average guests come for a week, spend a couple days at the resort, but then, you know, they're going to want to see the rest of, of, of Oahu. Um, they learn very quickly. That is not what happens. People were spending a lot more time at the resort than they expected. That's why they had to build out all these extra pools and all this extra stuff because people were spending so much time at the resort. So you got that that experience. Were you disappointed? Not in the slightest, you know, and and I think it comes down to we're so used to the go, go, go of a Walt Disney World vacation. Mm -hmm. Like when we're here for four or five days um, or whatever the trip might be, like we want to we want to hit all the Disney Vacation Club resorts. We want to hit all the parks. We want to do all of that stuff. And so it's just a constant rush. And like I don't want to say that like what happened was good because it was very scary at the time, but it was good to slow us down because we actually had a little bit of a vacation. Like we, we spent four hours a day sitting uh, on the beach under an umbrella or lounging in the lagoon and doing all of that stuff. And 
getting to fully immerse ourselves in the Alani experience. Um, we did some of the tours that they have to offer on the iPads. Um, Joe Rohde sort of does one of them, talks about like all of the environmental things that they've implemented there. Um, and all of that was just extremely fascinating. And it was wonderful to actually just learn about the resort. Um, and it, it sort of leaves that taste in our mouth for wanting more, mm -hmm. for wanting to for wanting to go back and, mm -hmm. and experience those things that we didn't get to experience this time, like those excursions. Um, but I I have nothing negative to say about Alani whatsoever. You know, we've we've gone back and forth over the past three or four days um, debating like what's our favorite Disney Vacation Club resort? And it's like there's Alani and it's on this spectrum, and then there's everything else. And and that's sort of what it is. Like, if you can get over the fact that you do have to travel to Hawaii, and I know right now it's it's harder than it, it will be very soon. I, I think that all of those restrictions uh, are relaxing and things like that. But if you can get over that travel hump, um, it it's absolutely beautiful. It, it's the most beautiful Disney Vacation Club resort there is. Uh, it does need an upgrade. Um, you know, some of the furniture is, is a little bit clunky and I know it's on the re refurb cycle right now. So I think we'll see some some nice new rooms come in the near future, but it does some of, have some of that clunky furniture, sort of like the Animal Kingdom Lodge vibe and, and stuff like that. But, uh, but we love it. And I, I um... oh, that's good news. Uh, sorry, email just came in. Um, that's the problem about having my laptop in front of me when I'm doing this. It's like, oh, because I'm, I'm really, it's short attention span theater with me. Um, Olani is a Disney resort experience. I think you will agree with this. Unlike any other, there, are, there is no comparison. And I'm going to tell you what, if you're a huge fan of the Polynesian and you go to Olani and then go back to the Polynesian... <laughs> You're like, oh. You're preaching to the choir. So, right we're, yeah, we're staying at the Polynesian right now. Uh. And, and, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love the Polynesian. Oh, oh, I love the Polynesian, right? It's, first of all, it's one of the originals. It is, you know, Disney theming at its best. But Olani was done with a different, uh, a, a different take. Um, when they built Olani, when they announced they were building Olani, the the locals were not happy they don't they did not want their culture disneyfied okay so this is where the genius the brilliance of joe Rody shines um he made it his mission to ensure that literally literally down to the light fixtures everything was not only authentic to the culture but it was respectful of the culture. Um, and I'm sure one of the tour, like somewhere in the yeah, tours that you exactly. were doing, they're, they're talking about that stuff. Um, and so, you know, they went so far out of their way. So, you know, where what we have at the Polynesian is kind of the Disneyfied version of Hawaii, of the, of the, of, of the South Pacific. Whereas Olani, Mm, no, this is authentic. And did you get to do the luau? We did do the luau. Um, so there were certain aspects of our trip that we couldn't maybe change or move around based off of the issues we had early in the trip. So our first day was like jam packed. So we had uh, breakfast at Makahiki and then we had the luau that first night. Wow. Now at this point, uh, we were running on about three hours of sleep maybe. Like we took a took a nap uh, when we got to the room to rest before our breakfast reservation. But then we were like, well, let's walk around. Like the, the best thing that they say to do is to stay up and to get acclimated rather than go to sleep. We had already screwed that up the night before. Like yeah. um, we, we, we had already messed things up. But um, so we had the luau booked that night. We went to the luau um, and it was a wonderful experience. We made it through uh, the main course. <laughs> no, yeah, we, we didn't make it to dessert. <laughs> We didn't make it to dessert or basically most of the show. <laughs> we saw like the pre-show. We got our appetizers and things like that. What we saw uh, was very but nice. But what we saw was amazing. The, sh the, the show itself, that luau, there is no, again, you know, I've done the luau at the poly. And then you do this and you're like, oh, 
<laughs> you think about the poly lawyer. Go, oh. um, it, it's just it's and and you know I'm all I'm all excited because I have a trip booked the end of August. Um, not realizing that I booked this trip the day I come home from this trip, um, I have to be at the Contemporary to start the Diz family reunion. <laughs> um, and you know what? I'm like, okay, I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna work my butt off at that uh, at that event. So yeah. let me get a nice vacation going into it. But the the, the just for me, the best Disney resort. I'm not talking just about DVC. The best Disney resort I have ever stayed in is Alani. Hands down. Hands down. Um, from the quality of the service, the quality of the facility, the options for entertainment, dining, um, location. Favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do in the world when I'm at Alani is I have one day I rent a convertible. And I drive the island, take my camera, and I drive the island and stop wherever I feel like stopping. Go up to the, did you get to go up to the North Shore at all? Mm -mm. You didn't. Okay, you got to come back with me. So okay. you can be you can be shown how to August, do this correctly. Two months. Got it. Um, going up to the North Shore, um, uh, uh, Haliva, um, the town of Haliva, which is amazing. Uh, uh, Matsumoto's shave ice. The great little food trucks mm -hmm. that dot the island as you as you drive around, uh, going out to the Dole Plantation, um, and also you know it is, um, and I don't know that I might do this on the trip in August, but uh, it's very 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 easy to do day trips to other islands. Hawaiian Airlines run shuttles out of. Uh, Honolulu Airport to Maui uh, to um, oh my god or the Big Island. Um, uh, I'd help you, but I can't pronounce. I any know of the them. name. I know it, and it's my. It's like the island with that's like least developed, and it's so beautiful, and I can't, I can't think of it. I, I can't. I'm just not. It's not coming to me. It's, it's age. It's age. Um, and that I got a chance to do when I did um, I did the uh, uh, Norwegian Pride of America uh, cruise, uh, cruise yeah. from Honolulu around the Hawaiian Islands. It's the only the only one that does that. It's a U.S. flagship. The ship itself is nothing to write home about. <laughs> the itinerary is breathtaking, breathtaking. So <clears throat> did some time in Alani. Did that cruise, did some time in Alani when we came back. Well, actually, no, we did uh, uh, a hotel up on the North Shore. Again, I can't think of names. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, that was that hotel, that resort. <laughs> I, we stayed there for a few <laughs> nights, did our cruise, came back, went to Alani. My air conditioning system at the house died. I had to fly home. Oh. Um, I had to fly home two days early. But um, well, at least we're not the only ones that have yeah drama. drama. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Oh, please, my my life is. <laughs> My life is a bad <laughs> lifetime movie. Um, I'll be I'll be very curious when you go to see your take on some of the implementations that they've brought about as a result of this past year. Um, you know, something that I'm I'm not a huge buffet guy. Like I've just never been one to like just walk around a buffet and, and get food from a buffet. And so at the at the Luau now they're doing these bento boxes. Um, so you're served your appetizer course in this bento box that's dropped off at your table. Um, same thing with uh, your, your dinner course. Everything is served in this bento box style and you get to a sampling of everything. And you can um, I did see people ordering like a little bit of extra food if they wanted. OK, so that will. Yeah, because that's because especially for the price of that luau. Yeah, don't 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 with the food. <laughs> don't because the food in that luau was unbelievable. It was so good. And the show. Oh my God. Oh my God. And it turned out like the two leads that play the brother and sister in the show um, are actually um, uh, their cast members there. Like, because I, I saw the, girl, the, the woman that was the lead in the luau the next morning at the check in desk, working check in. Oh my. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, there's some serious, serious talent in this place. 
<laughs> there's some serious, serious talent working here. Um, and they're just, it, it is. It's an absolutely amazing experience. And of course, I can't have this discussion without going over to dbcresellmarket.com because every time we do a show, I'm looking at contracts. Um, $129 a point for a 300-point contract, 115 uh, points at 140 137, 133. Yeah, that's tempting. We've we've thought about the Alani contract before, and even yeah. more so now. Yeah, it's it's even like a small contract to have to like know that I'm going back every two years or whatever that might be. Like it, it definitely, it's appealing. Yeah, we're well, you know, we're not it, there it, yet. It, it, but it, it, maybe one. You know, I I love my job. I love my job because I get. If I want to go out there, I can go out there. And and the icing on the cake for us uh, on this trip was the fact that uh, two days before we uh, were scheduled to come back home, it was announced that uh, five days later, basically, uh, today's Monday, so I think tomorrow, the spa at Alani reopens. Oh, I'm just missing it. It opens <laughs> tomorrow on our wedding anniversary. It opens oh, tomorrow on our oh wedding anniversary. Clutching we should, my. We should have okay, longer. okay. Let's let's take a, a second to talk about the spa. I'm a spa freak. Okay, yeah, done spas all over the world. There is absolutely there's no hyperbole in this. There is no comparison with any spa I've ever been to. Uh, to the spa at Alani, it is. Just the facility is amazing. Um, the treatment menu is very, very, very easy to spend all of your money in this spa. I'm so excited it'll be open when I go. Yeah. There is a modified list. They're still sort of updating the website. So I know there's a modified list of like treatments and stuff like that. I'll make phone calls. But yeah, yeah it'll be fine. And, and, it's, and it them. sounds like Fiasco is going to just sneak away in your luggage now. Yeah. And I I need to go to the spa. It's been way too long since I went. I am also a complete spa freak. And Pete's always talked up with the Alani one. So it's a must do. I do want to use this opportunity. I always make the joke about the whole cruise line thing. I've never been on a cruise. I've been on uh, the the Navy cruise. I've also never been to Alani, but I have been to Hawaii on a 2013 Rim Pack. That was uh, that was the, the that basically sounds, that's, that that sounds oddly sexual. Well, it, it um, I mean it could be for some people, but it was it was basically the meeting of all the nation's navies. But I spent most of my time at Pearl Harbor, so yeah, can't wait. The to go. second worst thing to ever happen at Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Fiasco. Fiasco's Rim Pack. 2013. <laughs> okay, okay. There's, there, uh. there's a hashtag in that somewhere. <laughs> um, and that's also a great excursion to do, by the way. Very moving. Very, very moving. Going out to the memorial at Pearl Harbor. Um, I wanted to throw people into the water because of how disrespectful some people were being at the memorial. You're at a grave site. Act like it. Act like it. Think about the gravity of what happened there and how many people died. Go there with some respect and stop acting like you're a... Because everybody, everybody's doing their whole Instagram thing. I'm like, I want to throw you in. <laughs> you're at a grave site. Yeah. You are literally at a grave site. I think people just don't process it. They're just like, well, I'm at it a just, place. You know, we, it's, we live in the world of total narcissism. He says, talking to a camera. Um, but, you know... Having a, you know, taking a moment to say like, okay, you know what? There are places I don't need to Instagram. There are places where I can go and just be respectful of the place I am. But Pearl Harbor, unbelievable. Really, really, really worth uh, an excursion there. And they do excursions. I've often referred to Olani as Disney Cruise Line on land. It's a very similar experience. Um, there's an excursions desk where you can book excursions. Most of them will come, will go out of Olani to other places. Sometimes you got to drive somewhere, you know, you got to Uber somewhere to start the excursion. But uh, it is, it's also run by, it's under the same business unit as Disney Cruise Line and Disney Vacation Club. So it has a lot of those, a lot of those elements, but it is absolutely my favorite place to go. And I know if we're filming this in June, basically of 2021, even if you're thinking about going like 11 months from now, you need to start planning now because mm -hmm. 
there, there are so many, you know, we get people asking the question all the time, when's the borrowing restrictions going to relax and all of that kind of stuff. Well, there's a reason that it's in place and it's because even booking at 11 months is getting highly competitive. And I know you even had issues like trying to get in there for, for a long time this oh, summer. I, I had a self fiasco. <laughs> I had a self fiasco for that reservation. It was rough. <laughs> but, but um, if you're, if you're watching this show and you are like, you're like, I need to go to Alani. Like, you need to be planning ahead, um, and you need to be thinking realistically, like at least seven to eleven months from now. Yeah. Um, because even at the seven month window, it is it is very minimal availability. Anymore. Yeah. So yeah, it's tough. It's tough to get. And pick enough days to stay at the resort for a while, because there is there's a lot. Yeah. You know, there's a lot to do there as well. I, yeah, that's not a long weekend trip. Yeah. That's not a long weekend trip. That's a, you want to go spend some time. I, I was warned by a certain someone sitting at this table that uh, five days would not be enough. And hmm. uh, that was a correct statement. I was wrong. I, I wonder uh, who could have said that to you. Yeah. I don't know. No. And, and uh, I told you. Yeah. I told you. I don't want to say I told you so, but I did tell you so. Um, you, want, you want a minimum of seven, especially for the length of the flight. Uh, you want a minimum of seven, but um, I, there there is claw marks on furniture in that resort from them pulling me out when it was time to leave. Um, it is such such a fabulous, fabulous place um, under under any circumstance. But I think especially right now, um, the feeling of just wanting to escape which is a perfectly understandable feeling to have. I, of course, have lived my life with that, which ended up in four rehabs. But, you know, this is a little bit better. Um, uh, it ends up, in, ends up in multiple contracts now. <laughs> um, so instead of spending the money on drugs, I spend it on DVC. Um, and I, 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 I really think that is a... I think that's one of the reasons why it's so hard. First of all, they have limited, you know, they're limiting the number of rooms that they're willing to fill. Uh, availability, I think, might get a little easier as they start opening up more inventory. Um, but right now, you know, I, I, it's totally understandable that people want that escape. And let me tell you, especially, even if you're not a Disney fan, you just want a fabulous resort in Hawaii, there it is. Mm -hmm. Because there's not a lot of a, there's not a lot of them on that island. There's not a lot of them. I stayed at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, which you know for a night. Because um, we'd gone to Alani for a week, flew to Tokyo, did Tokyo for a week, came back and spent. I couldn't get a room at Alani, so we got the Hilton Hawaiian Village for one night before we went and flew home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, is that in Waikiki? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go to Alani. I mean, it was, oh, <laughs> like, and you want to talk about tacky, tacky Hawaiian, like tacky, like they, they, let me just put it this way. Not a lot of respect for the culture. Okay. <laughs> because it's all a characterized version of Hawaii, what they think we want to see. And what Alani created is, 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 is authentic. And that stood, that stands out, that stands out. And once you do it and you have that experience, everything else suffers by comparison. And I'm not just talking about Polly or, or, or the Hilton Hawaiian Village. I'm talking about other DVC resorts. Um, so, and you know what? I've said this for years. I've told people about Alani and how I feel about Alani. Invariably, everybody comes back and goes, yeah, you were right. Yep. You were right. So go ahead and say it. Go to Alani. You were right. You were I right. was right. You were right. I'm going to sing the I was right song. And, the, and the, uh, the last thing I'll say is to your point on people wanting to travel and people wanting to get out there again, we said to ourselves multiple times on this trip, it feels normal again. You are outside mm -hmm. and the mask rules have relaxed at Alani uh, outside and you're walking around the resort. And I know Amy said a couple of times, like, it feels like 2019 again. Mm -hmm. Like it feel it, things are getting back to normal, and that's that more than anything is a wonderful feeling. So. And you know, I was at Disney Springs the other night on a date. Good date. Um, 
Oh, okay. Well, we ate at Wolfgang Puck, uh, the Wolfgang Puck restaurant, and avoid like the plague, um, it, it, unless you like tortellini and dish water. Um, but uh, and you know we didn't have to wear masks outside. And walking and seeing people smile, seeing faces again, I'm like, okay, this is nice. This is nice. So I am glad you guys. Uh, had a good time. I'm sorry that it had to start out the way it did, um, but you That's know, all right. We got- we learned a lot from that. I think, and it, it helped us to enjoy the resort a lot more. So, and you did you did get to see how good the service level is. Absolutely, at this resort, it's old school Disney service. It's old school Disney service. Um, so, all right. Well, that will do it. Thank you guys. Thank you for being with us. And that will do it for this week's episode of our show. We'll see you again next week with another edition of the DVC Show.